Okay, so we're gonna pick back up with number five. Okay, so a while ago I was working so hard and I wasn't paying attention to the graph. I need to make sure I'm paying attention to the graph. So make sure you pay attention to what it's counting by on X and what it's counting by on Y. So key point there. It says a triangle ACB and triangle CED are similar right triangles that have drawn been drawn on the graph. Based on the information, which of the following is true? Okay, so we're hoping that the slope's the same, but we're looking which one is not true. So we're looking for the false statement. Okay, so look at letter A. A right triangle with the hypotenuse AE has the same slope as CED. Well, if you look at the slope, you can figure out the points. Um, the slope of AE is going to be this point and this point. So this is 12, um, 20. And this point is 680, okay? So the slope of that line would be x1, y1, x2, y2. So it would be 20 oh, minus 80 over 12 minus 6. So this is negative 60 over 6, which is negative 10. So that would be the slope of AE. And then the triangle CED would be these points. So we would label this point as 8, 60. So we would say um, 20 minus 60 over 12 minus 8, negative 40 over 4, which is negative 10. Okay, so negative 10 and negative 10. So their um, hypotenuse is the same. So that's a true statement. Okay, the slope of the hypotenuse CED is less than the slope of ACB. Okay, so we've already figured out CED. We figured out it's right here, it's negative 10. So let's find ACB. So we would do 60 minus 80, 8 minus 6, negative 20 over 2, which is negative 10. Okay, so it is the, it is the same. So it looks like it's saying this one is less than so is that the truth? No, that's gonna be your false statement, okay? And if you figure all of these, we've already actually done all of that. <clears throat> They're saying that these are the same, and they are. And the slope of the hypotenuse of CED is the same as ACD, ACB, and that's true also. So they're the same, so this is a true statement, this is a true statement. So B is your false answer. Number six. Um, these two triangles are similar. Which of the following right triangles do not represent how triangles A and B can be placed on a coordinate plane to represent the same slope? So on, they have to have their hypotenuse on the line to represent the same slope. So clearly there's one um, that does not have its hypotenuse the same. So hypotenuse, 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 nope. So answer choice A is going to be... Um, it does not represent. Okay, number seven. And there's two ways we talked about this. So I'm going to talk about how to solve it the first way, and then I'm going to show you the calculator steps. So um, number seven says the table lists um, several photos or several points that form a line on a coordinate plane. Based on the information in the table, what are the y-intercept and slope of the line by these points? <clears throat> okay. So we found the slope by finding the rate of change. So the rate of change here is two. From here, it's 12. The rate of change here is one, six, three, um, 18. So if you put these over each other, change in Y over change in X, it's all gonna reduce to one sixth. Okay, so that is your slope. So if you look for your answer choices, it's gonna be either A or C. So you're gonna mark out B and D. Um, and then C and A also have that, so we're gonna to have to find what our y-intercept is. So I told them to start the equation. You can do it like this, 1 6 X, and then you're gonna put B. So we're gonna insert one of these points in here and solve. So 1 6 times 6, plus B equals nine, because if you plug in six, you get nine. So one sixth of six is one, 
1 plus b is 9. Minus, or I'm sorry, not minus b, minus 1, because we're solving for b. So b equals 8. So our y-intercept is going to be 8. So the only one that does that is letter choice A. Okay, so um, remember your steps for putting in the calculator. You're going to go stat, and then you're going to edit, and you're going to um, put all that stuff in your calculator, then stat, calc, line reg, and then enter all the way, and it should push you down to that um, AX plus B. So once you do that, a is going to be your slope, B is going to be your y-intercept, and it should match up with letter choice A. Okay, so kind of remember those. We have that notes page that you can look back at to, to remember the steps um, on that. Okay, number eight. The table shows the total cost of service call from leaky plumbing for a given number of hours of service. Determine the slope from the set of data. Okay, remember that's the rate of change. It's how much it's changing. So it's changing here. It's changing 20. 20, 20. So it's X, Y, the change in Y over the change in X. So here is 1, here is 1, here is 1. So 20 over... 1, which is the slope. There's only one with a slope of 20, and it's right here, okay? Number 9, the graph of the line, um, sh of the line is shown below. Okay, so we're looking for the rate of change, and we're looking for the y-intercept. So first look for the y-intercept. So our y-intercept is on 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's positive 7. So you can mark out here. So you can mark out here. Notice that our line is going down. So that means it's a negative slope. So first of all, even if you look at that, there's only one answer that has a negative slope. And then you can look. It's rising one, two, three, and running to the left two. So that's a negative again. Our answer is D. Okay, so remember this y-intercept. And then find the slope. Okay, number 10, the senior class is selling sandwiches for a fundraiser. The graph below shows the profit in dollars the senior class will earn based on the number of sandwiches sold. What is the slope shown in the graph? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find the slope. So they gave us two points already. They gave us a point here and a point here. So the rise is one, two, three, but it's actually six to 24, so it's actually 18, okay? over the run, which is actually holds one, two, three, so should be six. You can also do your point analysis. So you can say um, x1, y1, x2, y2, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Six minus 24 is negative 18. One minus four is negative three, a negative and a negative. Make a positive, 18 divided by 3 is 6. So both of those yield 6, which is answer choice D. Okay, make sure you look over this stuff. If you have any questions, come see us tomorrow in the morning before the test so we can answer your questions.